Hello Witch Bookie followers and welcome back to another anti-post selection for the 2022 National Hunt season. I know we've been doing plenty of Cheltenham selections, Cheltenham anti-post selections over the last couple of videos, but there's still plenty of good racing to get through between now and March and no better place to look than the Gough Thiestes chase at Gorham Park next Thursday. Looks like a really good a renewal of the race and often a very well sought after three mile handicap chase and poses plenty of problems for us punters with usually heavy ground, bit of fog, plenty of jumping tests as well. So it can be fairly demanding on horses. But that being said, I do quite like one in this at an anti-post stage. And even though I know there's plenty of risks uh, taking a horse, you know, more than a week out from a race, but there is, of course, in all anti-post betting, uh, so I am going to take those risks and hopefully procure that better price. And it's on Longhouse Poet for Martin Brazel, uh, owned by the Mulryans, who obviously had the Ballymore winner with City Island a couple of years prior. And they actually, Ballymore is their company, obviously. Uh, this horse was very well thought of, and he won a punch of stay festival bumper back when he was a younger horse, having won a point-to-point. -point. Uh, his novice hurdle career was pretty decent. He was third in the Dublin Racing Festival behind latest exhibition. And I suppose last year overall, uh, given the promise he'd shown as a bumper horse and a novice hurdle horse, was maybe a little bit of a disappointment at the time. He'd only won one start over fences. That was a beginner's chase at Punchestown. But you look back, and time has been very kind on this horse in terms of form lines. He was in a beginner's chase behind latest exhibition at Schoolboy Hours. Schoolboy Hours winning the Paddy Power this year. And then he won his beginner's chase, uh, beating Run Wild Fred, future Troy Town winner, and the Big Dog, who's a future winner of the Grand National Trial at Punchestown last season. So plenty to like about that form, and it's been quite well advertised. He was a bit slow to get back this season. He had his first run of the season in the Tim Duggan handicap chase at Limerick over Christmas, over two and a half miles. We're only finishing seventh, but he showed enough that day to suggest that there was still a bit in the tank. And I think off a mark of 145, he could well be very well treated. That was over a clearly inadequate trip, and the strains and tests of the three miles around Gorn on soft ground should be right up this horse's street, given he won his beginners over three mile one on heavy ground at Punchestown. He's off 145, as I alluded to, and second season chases have a really nice record in this race. And as I alluded to, his beginner's chase form has got some really good handicap winners. You think of the Troy Town, Paddy Power and the Grand National Trial being three of the main handicaps since that. And he's been involved in all of those form lines, which I think is a really good sign. He was 20 to 1 with Sky Bet when I wrote the article and posted the article this afternoon, or it might be yesterday afternoon by the time you're seeing this video, and he's subsequently been cut almost half that price to 10 to 1. You can still get 12 to 1 with William Hill and 10 to 1 with other bookmakers, and to be honest, I still think it's a bet at the, those prices. 20 to 1 was obviously a bit of a brucey bonus, so all of those that did manage to procure that, well done to you, uh, but I still think he is a bet because he's the type of horse that if he gets declared, I believe there'll be more and more money for him and he may be a 5-6-1 to one chance on the day and be very near vying favouritism. He's been a bit of a plunge horse for this race and I can see why, obviously for the reasons I've stated in the last couple of minutes. And fingers crossed, Longhouse Poet can be a winner in the Thiestes chase at Gore. And I put him up at 20-1 to one this afternoon. Still think he's a bet at 10-12-1. to one. Hopefully, even if you might find a 14-1 to one out there, I would take it with everything you can get. It's four places each way uh, for the majority of those bookmakers paying out anti-post terms. Again, you'll probably get more places on the day. You won't get that price on the day. So Longhouse Boat for the Thiestes. Take the price where you can. And fingers crossed he'll run and run well.